So a poster came out for season 5, it's incomplete, they just love teasing us with more information about the rest of the season, don't they? It's almost as if the season is pretty much completed and it's been pushed back for dumb reasons. But anyway, this poster came out and it contained some possible spoilers and other things we can speculate about, which is exactly what I'm going to be doing here. And forgive the blurriness, it was a very small image that's been enlarged and stretched and zoomed in and all that nonsense. Let's begin. Pie family to the right, there's Pinky's dad with the hat, her mum to the left of him, and what looks like only one other sister to the right of him. Where are the other two? Also, she appears to have really long hair, and it's really straight, so... I'm guessing a kind of another maud, really monotone, bland voice, which is going to be fun the second or third time that we've seen the joke. Babs and the main hand, CMC to the left, Babs with a new haircut because it's a special talent and all, and the other two are probably members of her branch of the CMC. One of them has really long hair and it's round, like almost like Chirilis. The people in the balcony at the top, Honis I mean, a bunch of horses wearing hats by the looks of things. The shark in the corner, the one they jumped over. That's nice, I suppose. Who are these characters? I don't remember seeing them, but they're not hidden. Maybe they were just background characters that were unique models, so they bought sod it and put them in anyway. This might be Coco. We know she's coming back this season. We were told that in Comic Con 2014, I believe. Uh, the CMC are in the middle. It's where they've always been all along. But why are they blanked out? They're all positioned so you can see their flanks, and Scootaloo and Sweetie Belle look like they're actually looking looking at their flanks, and there was some images found on the same website as this poster of two cutie marks. It, it kind of looks like it's time, guys. They're gonna get their cutie marks this season. I can't really think of any other reason why they'd blank out characters that we've known about since the show began. Just speculation. What's also more speculation, but kind of most likely confirmed by this, is that Cadence and Shining Armor are standing next to a cake that has a pram on top of it. Ladies and gentlemen, is it finally time? Are they finally catching up with the, the tradition of mimicking the, the British royal couple of recent years by giving them a royal baby? Probably. Uh, Cadence is looking really nervous <laughs> and Shining Arm is just smiling. It's probably a vector straight from the episode, so you can imagine that if Cadence is looking nervous, then that's what the episode is going to be about. Whatever the episode is, I'm not really sure where it will fit in because the list doesn't seem to suggest any episode where they talk about like a baby shower or where there's a baby shower going on or some bollocks like that I don't know so I'm not sure where it'll fit in maybe this is the end of the list being correct who knows Starlight is standing next to Twilight so at first I was like where's Starlight on this poster then I noticed she was next to Twilight she's blanked out but you can tell by the hair that it's her and you might be wondering why is she hidden probably because technically she's not been announced to return for the season finale the stuff that they reveal at Comic Con isn't supposed to leave Comic Con unless it's officially released. Some companies are very strict about this. Obviously Hasbro aren't so strict because we know about it. Anyway, but she's standing in the middle where the main six go. This probably means she's going to get reformed at the end of the season because villains have never taken center spot in the poster. Tyrek didn't, Chrysalis didn't, Discord didn't, Nightmare Moon didn't. No one ever has before. I've been saying this all season that maybe she's going to become a new member of the main cast, but at this stage, honestly, it could be equally true that she just becomes a recurring character in season six, like Discord is. And I'm specifically saying a recurring character in season six, because at Comic Con, when Megan was asked if Starlight will be returning in season six, she responded with, wait until you see what happens at the end of the season. I'm still kind of hoping that she'll be a new member of the main cast. I guess it's kind of because at the end of last season I asked where could they go from the castle? Like what could they do next season that would be bigger than the castle? That would be a big enough change from the castle? They've kind of had a pattern of doing that since season 3 with Alicorn Twilight then the castle. It kind of seems like natural progression from that is Twilight gets a student, which is what I've been saying all along, and Twilight getting a student, a new member of the main cast, whatever, it would kind of be quite a big change and also open up for a lot of episodes next season with Starlight learning lessons that maybe the main six already knew or stuff from like season one and two again that sort of thing. She'd almost kind of be like the Pony World version of Sunset Shimmer. Oh but most importantly the most important thing of all on this poster is there is no sign of Trixie. Suck it Seth!